Hello Astro Kids and welcome back to my channel if you're watching this on YouTube. Don't forget to leave a like and if you are new to this channel to hit the subscribe button as well as the notification bell so that you don't miss out on any new content. And if you're watching this on Patreon, thank you for supporting me as a patron. Again, this is on Patreon, so you can go over and support me over there on Patreon if you are interested. I will be doing the August 2019 horoscope for Leo. So I will go over the transits while pulling some cards. So let me just show you. And I will be using the Rider Tarot deck, the Connolly Tarot deck, the Barbieri Zodiac Oracle deck, as well as playing cards. And I already have some cards out. These will be a sneak peek at the month of September. So I will go over these at the end. Now, starting on August 1st, there will be a new moon in Leo. And this is really when the lunar eclipse comes to an end. Yes, we did end the eclipse season with the lunar eclipse, but we're still sort of in this... sort of pre-shadow or aftermath of the eclipse season. So this new moon in Leo is really the end point. This opens a doorway for internal happiness and living in your truth. So this is a very powerful new moon that we will be starting the month off with. Also, we will be starting the month off with Mercury Direct. So Mercury finally comes out of retrograde very late on July 31st. Now, August 2nd through August 4th, the moon will be in Virgo, where things will start to calm down a little bit. It will give us the ability to be more practical and analytical. And you may find yourself wanting to get some chores done or work on some habits or routines that you have. And August 4th through August 6th, the moon moves into Libra and as the moon goes into Libra this gives us the ability to really change our perspective and the focus will really be on bringing balance and peace into your lives this also deals with relationships as well so how we relate to others, you may feel the desire to make a compromise or to find a peaceful resolution in
one of your relationships. This is not just romantic relationships, but also dealing with friendships, our relationships with family, with co-workers. Now, August 6th through August 8th, the moon moves into Scorpio, and the moon does not enjoy being in Scorpio. And this is because this is the moon's fallen position. This is where the moon falls asleep and doesn't really work as well. And so when the moon moves into Scorpio, part of this is because the moon is very emotional. It's dealing with our feelings. In Scorpio, takes us through darkness. It takes us through this process of death and regeneration to help heal us. So as the moon goes into Scorpio, you may find some fears or insecurities or unresolved issues. Some of the things that we try to hide from that we don't want to face, these things may come to the surface as the moon moves into Scorpio. And August 8th, through August 10th, the moon moves into Sagittarius. And this is where things start to light up a bit. Coming off of this intense moon in Scorpio. This is where we tend to be more adventurous and lighthearted. And so you may find yourself wanting to find higher meanings and reasonings in your life to really understand things on a higher level of consciousness. Some of you will be seeking out wisdom and truth in your life, maybe working on your philosophies and your own morals on the way life should be. Now, on August 11th, we have quite a few things happening. Jupiter does come direct. So for those of you who did not know, Jupiter has been retrograde in its home sign of Sagittarius. And so Jupiter comes direct in Sagittarius. And this sort of takes us out of observational mode and really gives us the, the advantage of taking on the experience and really learning on a higher level. And so these dreams, these visions that we have been planning out and seeing throughout this Jupiter retrograde, a lot of that will start to come to fruition. And you will see that this Jupiter direct really brings in some very positive energy as well as some challenging energy. This is all about the experience. This is how you can grow and expand. And so this brings opportunities and lessons into your life that will help you grow and expand. Now also on August 11th, Mercury moves into Leo. And so Mercury has spent a great deal of time in Cancer. We had Mercury in Cancer back in June and Mercury then moved into Leo and of course went retrograde on July 7th. And as we speak, Mercury has moved back into Cancer. 
So when we do see it direct on August 1st, Let's see if we can get a right side up card for some clarity. When we do see Mercury come direct on August 1st in Cancer, things become much more emotional as far as communication goes as we come off of this Mercury in retrograde. And so when Mercury moves back into Leo on August 11th, This makes communication much more bold, much more outspoken. We tend to speak more from our hearts. Now also on August 11th, Uranus stations retrograde. And when Uranus goes retrograde, this is when you may see some confusion, things falling apart. Uranus does bring change, revolution. And so when Uranus is retrograde, though, Uranus really starts to break things down, to destroy things that no longer serve us. So you may kind of have a tower moment where you see things sort of fall apart underneath you especially as Uranus is in Taurus. So this is dealing with these old values, these old things that gave us comfort and stability that no longer serve us at this time that are starting to fall apart. And from... August 11th through August 13th, the moon is in Capricorn, where things start to become more serious, more solid, more grounded. This really gives us the drive and the ambition to achieve our goals. And August 14th through 15th, the moon is in Aquarius. Now on August 15th, though, there is a full moon in Aquarius. And this full moon is very powerful, especially with Uranus stationed retrograde. This really gives us the answers and unexpected breakthroughs that we need in our lives. And so when the full moon moves into Aquarius, you will notice that a lot of information will flow through us. And as you may know, the full moon is a time of reflection, of releasing what no longer serves you, allowing things to flow. tends to be a time where abundance and positivity flows through us. There is a purge or a cleansing. Now from August 16th through 18th, the moon moves into Pisces. And this is where there can be a lot of confusion A lot of misunderstanding, especially if we try to figure things out logically or overanalyze the situation. When the moon moves in Pisces, you really want to be in tune with your feelings and you want to trust in your intuition to guide you.
On August 18th, Mars moves into Virgo. And this is great energy for really getting things done in your life. This gives you the drive, the passion, the energy to stay focused in your daily routines, to stay focused in your work ethic. It also can give you a lot of focus and passion in bettering yourself. You may find yourself stumbling upon details of things that are not working correctly, things that need improvement in your life. You may find yourself wanting to take more healthy approaches in life. You may find yourself wanting to start a routine that helps to better yourself. Now on August 19th, Jupiter makes aspects with Saturn and we have had Jupiter make aspects with Saturn several times this year. This is really a reminder or a review point for a lot of you. This really hits home with reality. This really shows you the reality of the bigger picture. This shows you if your dreams, if your expectations, if what you want to experience in your life is truly practical and realistic, if it's something that you can actually achieve or accomplish. Now, August 19th through August 20th, the moon moves into Aries where things start to light up, become more passionate, more energetic. You may find yourself being more active or wanting to take more of an initiative or a stand in your life really wanting to get out and do something that is beneficial to you. And on August 21st, Venus moves into Virgo and Venus does not enjoy being in Virgo. This is a very challenging position for Venus as this is the fall position. This is where Venus falls asleep and doesn't work as well. And so with Venus in Virgo, you want to be cautious that you are not being overly critical in your relationships, in the way that you love and value yourself, in the way that you relate to others around you. And this does affect relationships tremendously. Now, on the positive side of this, this really gives you the ability to look at the areas in your relationships or in your values, in your areas of comfort, and to really look and see what needs to be improved, or worked on. And August 23rd through August 25th, the moon moves into Gemini. And this is where we want to connect Now this connection is more so a intellectual connection. This is about communication and learning. and the exchanging of ideas. It isn't so much emotional until we get to the moon in Cancer, which happens 
August 25th through August 27th. And that is where things become more emotional, more caring, more compassionate. You will see that people tend to have more empathy. Now, August 28th through August 29th, the moon moves into Leo. And when the moon moves into Leo, things become more fun, more light, more exciting. And so this is where you may find yourself wanting to get some attention or wanting to have fun. You may also find that it is easy to express your feelings as the moon goes into Leo. This is where our emotions tend to become more dramatic, more expressive. Now, August 29th through August 31st. The moon moves into Virgo. But on August 30th, there is a new moon in Virgo. And this new moon in Virgo opens a portal to being more analytical, more practical, more realistic, hardworking. This really gives us the tools to better ourselves and to work on the areas of our lives that need improvement. And August 21st through August 23rd, the moon did enter Taurus. And that was really where the moon felt more powerful, more alive, as it was secure, comfortable, safe. On August 23rd, the sun moves into Virgo. So this is the start of Virgo season which sort of calms things down, makes things more practical, realistic. This is where you may find yourself really dedicated to your routines, your habits, really able to get things done. and to see things from a more practical and realistic point of view. And that is the month of August. So not as heavy as July was, not nearly as much going on. with the eclipse season and Mercury in retrograde on top of it. This sort of gives us a break from that more intense, heavier energy. Okay, so
starting off, there is this thing that you have set out to do. I feel that there is a passion or a goal that you would like to act on, that you would like to move forward in. And so this does show you moving forward on this goal or vision that you have. And there's stability in this. You are grounded. You are committed to this. And not, this is not showing a ton of options, Leo. This feels to me as though you have made up your mind that you know what direction you are going in. You are certain of this. And it does feel as though there is this balance or things coming into balance in your life with this decision that you have made. So it does feel, Leo, like a lot of you know which direction you are going in now. You have made up your mind. Now, it also feels as though with this, some of you are too focused on this goal or this plan or the work that needs to be done. And it feels like there is a cutoff when it comes to your emotions to your feelings. It feels as though there's some work that needs to be done in this department. A lot of you need some quiet time or some downtime as you are powering through this goal that you have. It feels like there is a lack in this area. Some of you are not taking time, again, for yourself. There feels as though there's this lack in focus on yourself. And for a lot of you, this is because you have your focus, your attention on this goal or this direction that you are moving in. And so a lot of you are, are living in the future. You're not living in the present. So it's important to stay grounded and it's important to go within yourself and take that time out to yourself. Be present with yourself. Mindfulness. Yeah, see a lot of you need to Step into your feelings. 
connect more with yourself. A lot of you need that internal dialogue at this time. So for some of you, meditation is great medicine for this. I do feel like a lot of you are not stubborn in your beliefs, though. A lot of you are open to being positive, are open to the direction that you're moving in. And it's interesting that we also have Taurus in reverse. So this is the same kind of energy here that I'm feeling this lack in your belief systems or this lack in your values. A lot of you are open to making the necessary changes in mindset and belief systems in order to move forward. Yeah, and see a lot of you are open to changing your mindset. A lot of you are open to letting go of this internal battle that you have been in. For some of you, for a while, it has been this battle in this internal dialogue. There has been this sort of fighting or battling against yourself by living by these old belief systems. And I see that you are changing this. Now the overall way to move through this is to continue to remain positive and to flush out the remaining negativity, the remaining feelings of doubt, the remaining things that are holding you back. So I feel like this is going to be a month where a lot of you will go through major release or major change in your lives. See a lot of you bringing your lives into balance as it should be. A lot of you are making that compromise or you are putting down your weapons within your mind to make peace with yourself, you are really starting to bring things in your life into balance. And it feels as though a lot of you are very sensitive, very much starting to get in the process of feeling this out, of trusting in your intuition. So a lot of you are starting to nurture yourselves by following that inner guidance. A lot of you are starting to let go and let God So again, a lot of release, a lot of change, a lot of growth that I'm seeing. A 
Now again, a lot of you need to clear your mind. You need to be present. Some of you need to do breath work. It feels like there is this lack of fresh air for a lot of you. So again, practicing that mindfulness, being present. Taking that time for yourself. But a lot of you are changing your thought process. A lot of you are becoming more open to positive thinking. And again, Gemini, a lot of you are opening up this new, this new doorway for yourself, this new opportunity to learn and to grow, this new experience for yourself. And again, this confirms a lot of you bringing, bringing your thoughts into balance, a lot of you changing the thought process. To be more positive. We have the Jack of Spades too. A lot of you are taking this initiative. You're moving forward with this. T taking this opportunity to bring balance into your life. Now, there appears to be this misunderstanding when it comes to being practical, when it comes to being grounded. Again, a lot of you need to be more present. A lot of you need to be more grounded in your lives. A lot of you are caught up in your mental highways, in that mind chatter, that monkey mind. A lot of you are stuck there with what is all going on. And so a lot of you need to come down into your bodies and be more physical. And the jack of clubs is here as well. So there's this action that is required to be more grounded, to be more present with yourself. A lot of you are missing this part of being with yourself, taking the time to be with yourself. Now, this is a sneak peek at September And we have Earth, so this is good. A lot of you 
are starting to become more physical, more present, taking the time that you need to yourself. I definitely feel a lot of you being more practical, more realistic in the month of September. And so this work that you were doing in the month of August, that if you set out to do this work, you will be more present, more in tuned with yourself more mindful, more able to take care of yourself. And Aries is here, so I see a lot of you taking more initiative, doing more action, this definitely shows, for those of you who have not done the work, that a lot of action is required. This is not just going to fall into your hands. You must take some radical action to make the things that you seek come about in your life. To physically make that happen. And again, we saw this energy before that there is this ability in you to change your belief systems, to change your values, to be more in tune with your true authentic self. So again, a lot of you, I feel as though you were going through changes, changes to better yourself. Again, a lot of you are becoming more practical and realistic when it comes to Again, taking that time to yourself and doing the necessary work that needs to be done. A lot of you need to check in with yourselves. Again, there's this internal dialogue that needs to happen. And as this is being recorded, we are on the cusp of Leo. So happy birthday to all the Leos who are watching. I hope everyone has a great Leo season. And that was your August 2019 horoscope. Thanks again for joining me. If you're watching this on YouTube, don't forget to leave a like as well as hitting the subscribe button and the notification bell if you are new to this channel. Leave a comment if this resonated with you or helped you in any way and I hope you all have a great day as well as a great Leo season. All right, I will see you next time.